You do not have to have drugs to reduce your cholesterol. If you know anything at all about high cholesterol, you will most likely already know that this is something that affects men and women from all over the world. High cholesterol is something that can be brought on by many different things and if you get these things in control you can lower your cholesterol. There are of course many men and women out there that take medication which has been prescribed by medical doctors. One thing you should understand is that nearly all of these drugs will end up causing side effects even though they can help lower your cholesterol. Whether or not you choose to take the medicine, you will want to decrease your cholesterol as you will find that doing nothing can end up causing even more dangerous health conditions. You will find that some of the unwanted illnesses that can follow high cholesterol are heart attacks and strokes. One thing you are going to discover here are some easy ways for you to lower cholesterol while not having to use those prescribed drugs. Whenever you end up consuming foods high in cholesterol you will find that you have higher cholesterol, which means that your diet is an enormous factor. Because of this all the various foods you are ingesting every day can actually be leading to your high cholesterol. One thing you are going to need to cut out from your diet is all the various foods that you obtain from fast food joints. One thing you're going to find about these fast food places is that most of the foods are packed with cholesterol. Watching what you eat at home is still crucial as a lot of the meals you can buy in stores can still be packed with cholesterol. Therefore getting on a diet of low fat and low cholesterol foods will be the first step to lowering your cholesterol. One thing you should know is that physical exercise won't help out a lot if you still eat foods high in cholesterol, so to get the best effects you will need diet and exercise. Another thing you can do is to start working out frequently. Once you begin getting physical exercise you will also be strengthening your cardiovascular system along with your circulatory system, which will help reduce the unfavorable side effects of your high cholesterol. For just about any of you who are smokers and you've got high cholesterol, now would be a good time to quit. While every person knows that smoking is not good for you for many reasons it can in addition lead to blocked arteries. What you should recognize is that plaque will build up in your arteries when you have high cholesterol, and if you happen to be a smoker you will discover that the buildup of plaque is worse. If your arteries are stopped up you will find out that your heart will be functioning harder, which in turn may cause strain on your heart. Now let me describe the troubles with this. Your clogged arteries can end up bringing about a heart attack which I am sure you understand can cause death. You can of course talk to your doctor and tell them that you do not want to take any of the prescription drugs. Your doctor can help you to design an exercise and eating plan that will help you to reduce your cholesterol. This specific task is one thing that many physicians will be more than happy to help you with. For people who want to decrease your cholesterol without drugs the suggestions above are able to help.